Today, I'm in Canterbury, Kent, stood by the sculptures of this magnificent couple, King Ethelbert, the last pagan king of Kent, and his wife, Queen Bertha, who crossed the channel late in the sixth century and helped change this country forever. So why did Ethelbert marry her? Well, her father was an incredibly powerful man, Charibur, the king of Paris, and an alliance with such a powerful king offered huge benefits. Of course, this came at a cost. The condition of the alliance was that Bertha would be free to practice her religion, Christianity. At the time, Christianity already existed on a small scale in Britain after being imported centuries earlier by the Romans. In 597 AD, a monk arrived from Rome. His name was St Augustine and England began to switch faiths as Christianity spread across the land. Now I don't know about you guys at home, but my missus has a great way of getting me to do whatever she wants. And I think the same can be said for Bertha, because she helped to convince her husband to become a Christian, making him the first king in British history to switch faiths. Of course, the king's a powerful man and many sought his favour. So it didn't take long before thousands of Kentish pagans were following his example and being baptised in local rivers. Many people believe that St Augustine was solely responsible for this, but don't know that it all started with Queen Bertha and that she was canonised as a saint for her role in this part of British history. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys, and thanks again to our sponsors. If you would like to sponsor us, reach hundreds of thousands of people every single month and help support our project at the same time, contact us for details.